What would happen if the Earth suddenly stopped spinning? It's implausible, there's no question about it, but if it did happen, we'd see winds of up to 1,700 kilometers per hour, tsunamis probably kilometers high, cosmic rays bombarding us from outer space, nights lasting six months, and during the day we'd have insane temperatures of over 80 degrees. Don't worry, this isn't one of those sensationalist videos, as you'll realize if you keep watching. In reality, there's absolutely no reason for our planet to just suddenly stop. Yes, some of you might say, but a colossal collision with another celestial body could potentially cause a decrease in its rotational speed. Yes, but my humble opinion as a geologist is that it's a remote hypothesis, so very remote and improbable that we can pretty much exclude it. So, why is he making this video? That's what you'll be asking yourselves. Because seeing what could theoretically happen made me realize that the scenario can help us understand things about our planet that we take for granted. And I think that what I'm about to tell you might just hopefully spark some curiosity and perhaps encourage you to dig deeper into the topic. Ciao ragazzi, this video was written and filmed in Italian by our team of scientists, storytellers and video makers, manually translated into English but, but, dubbed with artificial intelligence. Long live culture and let's go back to the video. As we all know, the Earth rotates once every 24 hours at a speed that depends on what latitude you are located at. The top speed is at the equator, 1670 km per hour. At the poles it's zero because basically they don't rotate. In Italy, the speed ranges from 1140 km per hour in the north to 1350 km per hour in the south. So technically, Italians move faster than a passenger jet. I'm just sitting here in our studios and I'm traveling through space at almost the speed of sound. I don't even feel it. We don't ever feel this movement. But if it suddenly stopped, if everything just ceased spinning all of a sudden, what would happen? Well, think about it. If we're in a car and we slam on the brakes, what happens? We're literally thrown forward and the faster we're going, the harder we're thrown. Now imagine it's our planet hitting the brakes with us on board. Everything would be flung from west to east, the direction in which the Earth spins. In fact, from above, the Earth spins in a counterclockwise direction. Everything would be propelled eastward at the speed at which it was previously moving, which for Italy means roughly 1,200 to 1,300 kilometers per hour. And when I say everything, I literally mean every single thing on the Earth's crust. Anything that you could possibly think of, people, trucks, buildings, trees, entire cities, but even the atmosphere as well. The seas, the lakes, the oceans, everything would simultaneously shoot eastward at a speed that would be three or four times faster than the strongest wind ever recorded on our planet. In this scenario, you can really go all out with the doom and gloom. Things would be slammed with such force that just about everything would be completely destroyed or severely damaged. Our skies would be filled with flying debris and there would be very little hope for survival for all forms of life. Once the fury in the air above us died down, that of the water would begin. The inertia of the oceans would cause tsunamis kilometers high, which would obliterate pretty much everything in their paths. If we were given enough warning, we could save ourselves by heading to one of the poles, where since there's no rotation, there'd be none of the chaos found elsewhere. But even if we did take refuge at the poles, it would only be a temporary solution. The poles would actually soon be engulfed by two enormous oceans. Think about it. The oceans are spread out over the Earth's surface in the way that they are today. Also as a result of the centrifugal force produced by the Earth's rotations. If there were no rotation, there'd be no centrifugal force, and so water would start moving towards the parts of the planet where gravity is stronger, and that means the North and South Poles. As we all know, the Earth isn't a perfect sphere, but is a little flattened down at the poles. In fact, compared to the equator, the poles are about 21 kilometers closer to the center of the Earth. It's not much, but it's enough to make gravity a little stronger there. So little by little, the waters would start to quote-unquote, fall towards the poles, thus creating two mega-oceans. What would these oceans be like? 
Well, let's try to build up a picture. They'd extend to latitudes of about 40 degrees, and there would be no points of contact between them. So, all the land above sea level would form a supercontinent stretching around the equator. There would be a kind of continental belt. Regarding Italy, for example, only Sicily and Calabria would remain. The rest of Europe, except for southern Spain and southern Greece, would end up under water. Goodbye to Canada, Russia, Antarctica, and a good chunk of Argentina and New Zealand too. Earth's highest point, and this is incredible, would no longer be Everest, but Chimborazo in Ecuador, which would be an impressive 13,600 meters high. Guys, I told you that in this video there'd be some intriguing ideas and anything but the usual ones. But let's continue. If we were somehow able to survive the initial apocalypse, maybe we could manage to get by on the equatorial belt of land, perhaps on the shores of the new oceans. Well, no, the answer is no, because if the Earth stopped rotating, the global climate would change dramatically. There'd be a whole new climate. If the Earth no longer rotated, a day wouldn't last 24 hours, but a whole year which is the duration of the Earth's orbit, meaning the time it takes to complete a revolution around the Sun. The daytime part of a day would last six months, and the night another six months. The part of the Earth continuously exposed to the Sun wouldn't be able to disperse the heat, and consequently temperatures of more than 80 or 90 degrees would probably be reached. So it would be uninhabitable. Things wouldn't be any better on the dark side, where on the contrary, the long, long night lasting six months would lead to temperatures being way colder than those in Antarctica. Basically, the choice would be between whether you'd prefer to die boiled or frozen. The only areas with a glimmer of hope in terms of livability would be the two bands on the border between the light and dark sides, along the so-called Terminator, the line that separates day from night. But note that since the Earth rotates around the Sun, this line would move about 110 kilometers every day. So we survivors would have to constantly follow it. We'd have to cover about 110 kilometers a day, every day. It's crazy. Agriculture would obviously be impossible, also because the Earth's climate would change completely. If we really wanted to survive, we'd all become nomads. But it's probably safe to say that even that wouldn't be enough, because the deadliest consequence of a non-rotating Earth comes directly from its center, where the driving force behind our planet's magnetic field can be found. The Earth's core is incredibly hot. The temperature ranges from 3 to 4,000 degrees Celsius in the outer core to 6,000 or 6,500 degrees in the inner core. It's hotter than the surface of the Sun, so hot that down there the atoms have broken down into charged particles, protons and electrons, which rotate along with the Earth. And physics tells us that when electric charges are in motion, they generate a magnetic field. So that's why Earth's got a magnetosphere. To put it simply, the magnetosphere is a magnetic shield that is strong enough to quite literally protect us from cosmic rays, the high energy particles coming from outer space that hit the Earth. So this shield deflects those particles and it defects them towards the Earth's poles and just to be clear, it's what creates the aurora borealis, the northern lights. But the point is that if the Earth stopped spinning, we'd also lose the magnetic field, meaning that cosmic rays could directly reach the Earth's surface unchecked and that would be a disaster for all forms of life. These particles have enough energy to destroy DNA molecules, effectively leading to the death of every living thing. Basically, there'd be no way around it. If the Earth suddenly stopped spinning, it would probably be the end of the road, not just for human beings, but for all forms of life on Earth too. The only way to survive, maybe, would be to build, and here we're really crossing the line into sci-fi territory, huge underground bases powered by nuclear or geothermal energy. The only options available down there, where food would have to be grown in hydroponic greenhouses. But today, thankfully, this is all just science fiction. All right, folks, I hope this video sparked some curiosity in you and that maybe you'll try to find out a bit more about our planet. Keep in mind that we still don't know much about our planet, especially when it comes to what's inside it. Thanks so much for sticking with us till the end. See you again soon, right here on Geopop, Everyday Science. Ciao!